Hello, my name is Isaac. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on TikTok Live, specifically how you can print events such as um, follows, gifts, likes, really anything you want to a thermal printer in less than maybe 30 lines. I made this library called TikTok Printer. It's based off of an open source library, which I encourage you to check out TikTok Live. I made this add on that lets people print to Eskpaws printers very easily. And so today I'm gonna be going through that. If you don't know what an Eskpaws printer is, that's okay. When you're purchasing the printer, just Google Eskpaws thermal printer. If it has Eskpaws thermal printer in the description, you're good to go. So first things first, all I have to do is install this library that I created on top of the TikTok live library. One command, very easy. So you type the command, it installs everything automatically for you. Just like that, everything's installed, which I think is pretty cool. Just literally one command and you can already, technically speaking, print to your thermal printer. Now, most computers nowadays are installed without a driver for printing in Python. So what we need to do is install a driver. We download this program called Zadig. Zadig is a driver installation tool that will allow you to install a driver. So you go to options, list all devices, and you find your device. In this case, pretend this is a printer and there's a USB audio driver. You have to replace it with this one, libusk. So if you click install, I'm not gonna do that, but if you click install, you would install that driver and then you're good to go. Now, all you need to do from here is start coding. From, from TikTok printer, import TikTok printer client. Now this is a client that builds on top of this previously mentioned TikTok live library over here to allow you to do whatever you want. This client is going to equal a TikTok printer client instance. Um, and inside of that, you can see it takes two arguments, a unique ID. So let's say my ID is hello, and I wanna pick an engine. Now there's a bunch of engines you can do. Actually, let's go from TikTok printer import engine generator. So this will generate an engine for you. What an engine is, is basically, there are multiple types of printers. There are USB printers, there are serial printers, there are network printers. You have to pick your printer and go from here. This library supports all three. So ask pause engine generator dot, and we have to, we have a choice. Create USB, create serial, create network, or create console. A console is if you want to test. If you want to print stuff to the console, you create a console printer. I will show you how to set up a USB printer since that's the most common. So for a USB printer, you're going to need a vendor ID and you already need a product ID. Your product ID and your vendor ID are basically numbers that identify your printer so that you can connect to it. Now, these are just dummy numbers and you will actually have to find the real ones. So let's find the values. There's a program called USB DView and we'll actually get this on Google, USB DView. You download it. Once you have the app, it'll look something like this. Now you find your device and it will have a product ID and a vendor ID. Obviously you just copy those over. In this case, I'm looking at my mouse pad, my LED mouse pad, but what you would be looking at is a printer. It actually takes a hex code. So you need to put zero X in front of whatever your vendor ID or product ID is. So if your product ID was one, two, three, you type zero X, one, two, three. Once you've done that, you know, you can, you know, create main client.run. And right now, technically speaking, what you've done is create a TikTok printer client that will connect to TikTok live chat with a username, hello. And then it will connect to your USB printer and it'll run. It won't print anything because you haven't told it to print anything, but you've already done so much. You've already started reading the TikTok live chat. You've already connected to a printer. All you have to do right now is print and that's even easier. Let's do that. So at client.on. In this case, um, let's listen for the comment event. Now I'm creating an event, the name doesn't matter, but I'm gonna choose standard convention, which is on comment for this client, this TikTok printer client. On the event, comment, run this function. Our event obviously goes as a parameter of this function and it'll be passed to automatically by the TikTok printer client. In here, we need to have logic to handle this event. Let's say I want to print their name to the printer. Client.text. Yes, it's that easy client.text event. Let's add some type hinting so we can see what the event is and what options we have with it. So event dot, we want to print their name plus said plus event.comment. So right here, every time someone comments, 
it will print their name, said, and then the comment that they said. That's freaking cool. We did that in three lines of code. And this is only possible because this TikTok printer library behind the scenes is doing all the hard work for you. So let's say when they comment, you wanna go a step farther. You want to go and do multiple things at once. So we'll create a list of things and we'll add it to a queue. In this case, let's say we do wanna print this text stuff, okay? We import printer text right here. This is the printer text object and in the object, you can stuff a command. The queue takes a bunch of commands. One command is printer text. What we've just done here is we've said that we want to add to the queue one printer text and the contents of that text is this user said this comment. We already did that though with the client.txt and you can, you'll find that if you actually click it, you can do text, image, voice, uh, you can send a message. There's really a lot that you can do. You can even play a sound. What we want to do though, is do all of these all at once for one event. You could technically speaking do client.txt and then client.txt again, but it's not the most efficient. So we queue, we create a printer text. Maybe this line, we're gonna say printer text content equals thank you for engaging with our stream. Now all of a sudden on one line, we have um, the user saying something and then we have their comment and we also thank them for engaging with our stream. Okay, what if we wanna take another step farther? We add another item to the queue. We want to add text to speech, you know, why not? Voice text. And the voice text is, actually I realize now this is wrong, ID. so their username said. Anywho, voice text event.user.uniqueid said event.comment. So now all of a sudden it's going to print these two lines and now it's also at the exact same time as it prints these lines going to say this voice message. This message is going to read something like at username said bananas or whatever that comment is. Okay, so now we've already done three things in a very few number of lines but we can do more. We really like their comments, so we're gonna bold the message. So you said bold to true. Now all of a sudden you're printing in bold. You could also play a sound, sound file. So now we need to find the file path. In this case, we don't have a sound. So let's pretend we had a sound by creating a file, enchanted.wav. Now this represents an audio file. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to say enchanted.wav um, in the sound file argument. All of a sudden, we're now doing all four of these all at once whenever someone comments. Um, and there's so much more you can do. I will leave that to the documentation, which you should read on the TikTok printer GitHub page right here. There's documentation that describes every single method. It's highly detailed and it was made specifically so that everyone can use it, even beginners. There's even a list of examples. These examples go through from basic to complicated, how you can do pretty much everything you could possibly want very quickly, very easily. So far we've done these four things, but I understand that a lot of people like receiving gifts. So let's do that. On gift, async death, on gift. And then we have our event, we have our gift event. Clients.q. So someone gifts us something, we want to thank them for it. Let's do one line of printer text that's gonna say, um, thank you, and then their username for the gift. We want to be more specific than this. After all, what's the point of this library if we can't read anything from TikTok? Well, as it turns out, we can read everything from TikTok. Let's say we want to print the number of the gift that they gave us and the name of the gift. For sending event.gift.giftdetails.giftname. Let's do the quantity event.gift.repeat count. That's the number of the gift that they gave. Now all of a sudden we're gonna print the thank you, username for the gift, for sending the gift that they sent and the amount of times that they sent it. And of course we want to thank them for this with text to speech using voice text. We love you so much event.user unique ID. Now let's say you want to get the actual value of the gift because you don't necessarily want to print something for every gift. Maybe you only want to do it for expensive ones. So we can do that too. You need to understand that there are two types of gifts on TikTok. There are gifts that are repeatable 
and there are gifts that are not repeatable. Gifts that are repeatable are things like roses. Now, what repeatable means is that you can send a streak of it. So for example, you can send 500 roses all at once. However, sometimes that's not a thing you can do. For example, you're sending someone sunglasses. You can't really send 10 sunglasses. You can only send one at a time because they're expensive gifts. What we need to do is we need to check if it's a repeatable gift. So if event.gift.streakable, if it's possible to have a streak with the gift, we need to check if event.gift.streaking, that means it's currently streaking. So let's say they send one gift of a rose, it'll fire this event. Let's say they send four more consecutively, it'll fire this event four more times. Obviously, you don't want to print every single time they send a rose. So what you do is you check, is the streak over? If the streak's not over, we're going to return, we're going to cancel, because we're going to wait for it to send the event when the streak is over. Now, if it's not streakable, we don't really have to worry about this. So we don't have to implement any logic for that, but we need to count how much the gift is worth. So diamonds, TikTok currency for creators is diamonds. Event.gift.giftdetails.diamond count. This diamond count attribute is how much the gift is worth. So one rose, for example, might be worth one diamond, whereas one sunglasses are worth a hundred diamonds. They're worth different values. And the whole point of this is that, you know, we only want to do it for expensive gifts. So that's what we're trying to figure out right now. Now, like we said, some gifts are repeatable. Event.gift.repeat. The number of diamonds is equal to the amount that one gift is worth times the amount of the gift that they sent. So let's say we consider a cheap gift to be less than five. If diamonds less than five. So if they sent less than five diamonds, then we'll just put this text. If they sent more than five diamonds though, we consider that an expensive gift. So we queue an expensive version. So of course we still thank them, but on top of it, we're gonna add their profile picture because you can print images with this library too. Printer image, it's as easy as going to the top, from TikTok printer import TikTok media. This is another facet to this API that lets you easily download TikTok media. TikTok media dot let's get the user's image events dot users. You pass in the user's name. And of course it's a co routine. So you need to await it. We're going to get a printer image and we're setting the content for this. Now we might not necessarily want to just print their profile picture. Maybe we also want to print the gift that they sent. Well, you can get that here too. Event.gift, you pass in and it will automatically download the gift image for you. Okay, so we've done all this, we're printing, it looks fantastic. Is there anything else we can do? Yes, of course, there's tons. And like I said before, you really should check out the documentation. There is way too much to go into, but there are a ton of features and there are more coming every day. Printer text. Oops, I see that this was a mistake here. It's a printer image actually. Let's see, what else can we do? What else can we do with the TikTok media? You can see that there's actually an option for masking circle transparent. Right here, we downloaded the user image. What if we wanna crop it into a circle? Of course, we can still do that using this library. This is what that does. This function, this mask circle transparent, crops it. At this point, we're pretty much done. We've done most of what you can do with this library. There's a lot more and I encourage you to read up on it. I think it's pretty sick how easy it is to print. This is only possible because, you know, I went through the, the pain of trying to figure out how not only the TikTok API works, but how printing works. It is such a pain in the butt to try and print. But I got it done using this very cool library and hopefully now you can too. Just to recap, this was a video on how to use the TikTok printer library. It is a private library that I produced so that people, people that want to make money on TikTok by thermal printing can do it really easily with very little programming experience. That's why you're here. The library is for sale. And realistically, I know that some people make back the money that they spend on this library in literally one stream and you can purchase access to it and all future updates. If you try to go for a virtual printer, which is something that some companies offer, that is going to be a monthly subscription. When you buy this library, you own the script. If you want to join the chat room, the link for it is in the description of this video. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much. Peace out.